I would say probably five years ago, um, I was just really unhappy with, with how I felt physically and the energy that I had. So when I was an assistant coach at the University of Richmond, I made a decision to, to get serious about uh, getting myself in shape. And uh, that's probably the first time I've, I've carried a resolution through. Um, it took me about six or seven months, but I eventually lost about 35 pounds in, in, that, in that fiscal year. So. Uh, I've made them. I don't know if I've ever stuck with them. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really a resolution kind of person. Um, you know, they're, I think they're fun to do, uh, but at the same time, I, I think uh, a lot of the things that you, you talk about uh, on New Year's Day and having that resolution is uh, probably things you, you need to be doing all year long. Not a big New Year's resolution guy. I don't know if it's just because we are smack dab in the middle of our season, and I don't know what day it is, much less what holiday it is sometimes once we, once we get back from Christmas. So I wish I could give you a better answer, but I'm, I'm usually, every once in a while, carbs. I try to cut out a little carbs, but I, I like pretzels too much, so I'll, I'll fall off the wagon pretty quick. <laughs> I made one one year where I decided I was not going to eat a certain sandwich shop. <laughs> I think what it was was late in the year, I got a bad sandwich that uh, had something wrong with it. So that was a, wasn't a real New Year's resolution per se, but it was at the time of New Year's, so I said I'm never doing it again. It lasted about 18 months. Probably 23, right out of college, I made a resolution that I'd never feel sorry for myself again. And I uh, stuck, stuck with that one. And you know, I don't make them anymore, but that was probably the last one that I remember saying, hey, you know what, life isn't gonna give you anything. You gotta you know, suck it up and, and make your own way. And since then, you know, I've stuck with that one all the way through. I mean, they're all the same ones, and I never stick to them, so they don't last longer than a week, so I've pretty much stopped doing that. New Year's resolution for me is just to try to be a little bit more patient with the, with the guys. Well, uh, one year I did where I fast one day a week, and it was always on Wednesdays, and in fact, I went through the whole year of doing that, which was quite an accomplishment for me because I love food, and uh, my problem is uh, uh, I've been married to a wonderful woman for 37 years who's also a great cook. So every time I try to make a resolution about losing weight, you know, she'll fix a, a meal that I really enjoy, so, uh, which is bad all the time. But uh, uh, I, I'm not really too much big on resolutions so much. I, I'm, you know, I, I think my biggest vice is chocolate chip cooking. So uh, other than that, you know, I, I really, I would like to drop a few pounds and I try to, I try to do that. Uh, but. Sometimes it doesn't work. I did keep a New Year's resolution. I stuck with all the way through, all the way through that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, now there was a time I really did make a resolution that I was going to, you know, run for X number of days and do this type of thing, and I really did a good job of that one time. That's probably the one time I stuck with it. I can't, I can't say that, that I've been as successful other times. So I've made some resolutions, but usually they don't get past the eighth of January. <laughs> I don't really do a whole lot of New Year's resolutions. I'm sure I did when I was younger, and you know how it is. It's like a lot of times now, it blends in with a lot of the other days of the year, especially when you're in basketball season. I've broken every resolution, so I don't even set them anymore. We just watch film. We're gonna watch film on New Year's Day. That's what we're gonna do on our next opponent.